haven't seen the last video, seen where that block had that, uh, or got torched a little bit. That is fixable, uh, but I just can't get it fixed in time for the race. It's Monday right now, and uh, we're hoping to race on Friday. That gives me another four days. But what we got here, this is a uh, brand new Gen 2 short block. I had a good friend who had, uh, had just bought one for his car and he ended up not needing it. So he actually just gave it to me, uh, or gave it to me so I could use it and uh, well, I'll get this one here fixed. And then uh, obviously we'll get it sleeved. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get this in here opened up and uh, we're going to see what it looks like. I just got it opened up. Everything looks good. Obviously, it looks like brand new. See the cross hatching and everything. Nothing much to see. Of course, it comes with the uh, main caps. You guys got the bolts and everything for that. Everything looks kind of how I expected. Well, it's, it's always nice having a brand new block, no matter what. So uh, now I'm going to get uh, started tearing this one the rest of the way down. Of course, there you can see that cut for those of you who didn't see the last video. And I get this one tore down, get everything swapped over, my oil pump gears, uh, clean the pan out because of course I've got the bungs there for my turbo drain lines and uh, start getting this thing moved over. You can see I've got the oil pan and everything off, and I've got uh, five rods ready pulled out, two here. See everything still looks polished, smooth, looks clean. No problem at all there, and uh, this here cap here is ready to come off. And I just put new bearings in it too. Last time I took it apart, you can tell they still look like brand new, no grooves, nothing. And uh, ready to push this rod out the bottom. Push it out here. There it is. Same there. It's got some oil on it, but it looks like brand new. I've got the crank completely pulled out. You can see the uh, main bearings here. These are the ones that ride right on top of the crank. The caps are already taken off. It looks good. Looks like new. And the uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take those uh, old block off caps off down there, the blue ones, take them out and move it over. And then I'll be ready to uh, transfer everything over to that block right there. And on this cylinder there, you can see how it's kind of scored up a little bit. That's the one that had uh, was leaking a lot of coolant in it, and uh, it actually did damage the rings on the piston. The piston's not damaged, but uh, I do have to get one new set of rings for that uh, piston that goes in that cylinder. I've got all the uh, main caps taken off the new block. You can see everything looks clean here. So the uh, first thing I'm going to do is move over those uh, those uh, block off caps for the piston squirters. Put them in there, and uh, then I'm ready to start putting the crank in and start reassembly. I just ran into another issue. I've just been looking over my crank, uh, cleaning everything up, getting it ready to put in the new block over there. And uh, all the way here at the back with the flywheel mounts, I noticed a, uh, there's, I don't know if you can see a little crack running across there. Runs right down through there. Might better see that. And it actually, you can see my uh, screwdriver actually gets caught on it. Here, yeah, it goes all the way down here. Still caught. And uh, right down here, it comes all the way through this edge. And even past here on this edge here, it catches there too. I'm not sure if it's just partly broke or what's going on, but I'm probably going to end up grabbing myself a new crank. I just don't want to risk it with, uh, with that offset right there. It could uh, spin a bearing, spin a rod bearing. Uh, it's not good at all, so I'll probably have to grab another one and get that one balanced. I've been looking closer at this crank, and... Uh, there, of course, you can see where the crack is. It uh, 
runs right down across here. See a line? And uh, then I decided to come down here and look on the inside of that groove right there. And of course, I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not, but the crack runs right along the inside there too. You can feel it. You can see it. At least you can without the light or without the camera. And uh, all the way down through there. So I'm not going to be using this crank at all. It's just too big of a risk for sure with my rotating assembly being the high, the expensive part. Uh, so I'm just going to take this, uh, get rid of this crank and I'll end up getting a new one and I'll have to go get it balanced. I don't see myself making the race unless something crazy happens and machine shops aren't booked out. Uh, like I say, it was going to be this Friday. Uh, it's the day before I leave for California. But I'm still going to try to make it. I just don't know if it's possible at this point. We may have to move it off a week or two. But that'll be the end of this video. And uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.